hope you are fine and doing well today i am going to discuss about the hypothesis what is it and what are its types hypothesis is a testable theory a theory which we can test is called a hypothesis it's a simple statement but we can test it and the method by which we test the hypothesis is called the hypothesis testing method so hypothesis is a testable theory and hypothesis testing is the method of testing whether hypothesis regarding a population are likely to be true when we conduct a study or any research we make two types of hypothesis one is the null hypothesis and we represent the null hypothesis by h not and the other is the alternate hypothesis null hypothesis indicates that there is no difference between the two groups or that the one factor is not dependent on another factor if we are comparing the groups then we can say that there is no difference between the groups and if we are comparing the two types of treatments or we want to study the effect of one factor to another then we can say that one factor is not dependent on another factor so it's a null hypothesis the second is the alternate hypothesis alternate hypothesis is the opposite of null hypothesis if in null hypothesis we are saying that there is no difference between the group then in alternate hypothesis we state that there is a difference between groups and that one factor is dependent on another factor so in null hypothesis we are nullifying the difference or in fact while in alternate hypothesis we are saying that there is a difference or one factor is dependent on the other factor let's see it with an example a study is being conducted to answer questions about difference between two regimens for the management of diarrhea in children the modern ors method and the time tested in beginners herbal solution made from locally available herbs so we want to see the effect of these two methods one is the ors and other is the locally available herb in this case the null hypothesis will be there is no difference between the two regimens in term of improvement see we are nullifying the difference between the two groups one which is treated with the ors and the other which is treated with the herbal medicine the alternate hypothesis will be there is difference in terms of improvement achieved by a 3 days treatment with the ors and that of the herbal solution so it's the null hypothesis we are nullifying and this is the alternate hypothesis stating that there is a difference in terms of improvement another example a researcher aims to look at the association between cigarette smoking and the lung cancer the null hypothesis will be there is no association between cigarette smoking and lung cancer in previous example the comparison is between the two groups one who received the ors treatment and the other one who received the second type of treatment while here we want to see the impact of cigarette smoking on lung cancer one factor to another factor in null hypothesis the statement would be there is no association between cigarette smoking and lung cancer while in alternate hypothesis there is some association between cigarette smoking and lung cancer and cigarette smokers are more likely to develop lung cancer than non smokers we want to test this theory right there is a difference between this and this this can impact on this or there is no association or no difference between this and this so it's the null hypothesis and it's the alternate hypothesis let's see some other examples the study question is are males longer than females right we want to prove that 
males are longer than females we want to find out the difference that males are more in length compared to females then the other question is are males heavier than females so we want to see the weight of the gender and the other is do males have a larger head circumference than females then the null hypothesis for this type of study questions will be there is no difference between males and females in length there is no difference between males and females in weight and there is no difference between males and females in head circumference and if we convert this null hypothesis into alternate hypothesis then the statements would be something like that there is some difference between males and females in length there is difference between males and females in weight and there is difference between males and females in head circumference this is the null hypothesis and alternate hypothesis alternate hypothesis is also of two types right one is the directional alternate hypothesis and the other is the non directional alternate hypothesis so the directional hypothesis is the hypothesis in which researcher is able to state the direction of the relationship between the population he can state that the effect is positive or the effect is negative so if we see the previous example example of ors and herbert solution there is a difference in terms of improvement right in terms of improvement improvement achieved by a 3 days treatment with the ors and that of the herbal solution so we are stating that there is some improvement it means that improvement in a positive direction we are not stating that there is some effect which is non directional world the other is there is some association between cigarette smoking and lung cancer we are not saying that there is some positive association or there is some negative association if we use the word positive or negative then it becomes the directional alternate hypothesis here we use the term improvement which make the positive sense but here we are not using such word which make it either positive or negative so this statement is non directional hypothesis but if we add that cigarette smokers are more likely to develop lung cancer than non smokers then it took some direction and now it becomes a directional hypothesis similarly if we are interested in comparing smoking prevalence in men and women in the population the null hypothesis will be something like that smoking prevalence are the same in males and females in the population see there is no difference between the males and females smoking prevalence so it's the null hypothesis and the alternate hypothesis would be like that smoking prevalence is more in males compared to females right again we are stating that is more in males compared to females or we can use the word is less in males compared to females or is less in females compared to males so it's become a directional hypothesis if we convert it into non directional then the statement is something like that there is difference between smoking prevalence in males and females in the population So there is this statement gives no indication about the direction of the hypothesis. So in conclusion, hypothesis is a testable theory, and the method by which we test the hypothesis is called the hypothesis testing method. For any research, we need two types of hypothesis. One is the null hypothesis, and the other is the alternate hypothesis. Null hypothesis states that there is no difference. while the alternate hypothesis indicates some difference alternate hypothesis is of two types directional and non directional directional which indicates the direction of the relation between two factors or two populations and non directional which provides no information about the direction 
की फीस अब आता है पॉसिबल एंड टाइप थैंक यू सो मच ऑल दी बेस्ट